Did you know that there are actually drugs, pharmaceuticals, hidden in supplements sold on Amazon and eBay? And did you know that places like Consumer Labs have tested this, shown this to be true? And even the FDA, the Food and Drug Administration, has a database where you can go and look to see the over 1,000 products they've tested that actually have drugs, pharmaceuticals in them. That's what we're going to talk about today. This is a big issue because even the FDA has got on this. So what are some of the things that are popping up in supplements? How many people take an energy supplement, something to help with to boost their energy? How many people take, if you're male or female, take things to help with performance or action? There's one interesting study, which again, these are referenced below, so feel free to check those. And we are including the FDA fraudulent database link as well that you can click on and actually see so far to date what the FDA has personally tested. One product actually had 75 milligrams of sildenafil in it, which is the active ingredient in Viagra. So strangely enough, this over-the-counter product bought on Amazon or eBay actually was working for the people taking it to help with sexual dysfunction because it had an active drug in it. The issue with this as well is that this has occurred with weight loss medications. Some weight loss medications are actually coming with stimulants like fentanyl, Adderall derivatives. The concern is many people go to supplements to avoid drugs, to avoid medications because they want to do things more naturally. What if I was to tell you of these products, about 50 products checked in this one article from Consumer Labs, that the majority of them actually had pharmaceuticals or drugs in them? This is concerning for a couple of reasons. One, if you look at 50 products from Consumer Labs, there's about 10 products online that account for over half of everything people buy. Multivitamin, vitamin D, B-complex, calcium. There's a few probiotics, there's a few things, melatonin, a few things that account for the vast majority of what people take. That's the reason why the FDA database that's tested over a thousand things is super important. The issue is if you don't know what's being done or tested and you don't know that there's stuff being put in there, if you get something from these places, more likely than not, you're actually getting a supplement that has a pharmaceutical drug in it. This is important because if you're taking any other medications, you won't know the drug interactions. They're also because herbs do work and they actually do have pharmaceutical or drug-like effects. When you start mixing pharmaceuticals with these things, you don't really know what kind of side effects you're going to get with those. That's the reason why whatever physician or provider you're working with should be aware or at least have a database they can refer to make sure there's no interactions occurring. But if you're buying your stuff from Amazon or eBay, odds are you're getting it and you don't even know it. So please look at the links below. Check out the products you're taking. One of the things I personally do for our patients is I recommend something, whether it's for vitamin D, calcium, whether it's for low testosterone, whether it's for prostate issues or hormone issues, I'm only using products that have been tested and vetted, that have been tested for purity and have not had adulterants put into them. I'll talk about this a little later on in the series about what goes into making sure a product is good. But the point is, if you're getting your stuff from eBay or Amazon, it's kind of risky. So if you want to learn more, please keep on following us. I will be talking towards in things that you can do if you personally want to vet your products and things we do to vet our products for our patients. So take care and we'll talk to you soon.